Hello reformers and welcome back to Viking Conquest. Now, when we left off, we had just traveled all the way from the coast over here, sort of in the middle, as far as I'm aware. How, did we? Yes, yes, we did come from there. And then we went to this monastery over here and we unfortunately did not get anyone to join us but thankfully we have now gotten some young warriors farmers and priests and actually i did forget to do that in the previous episode let's speak aha what can you do in battle i will denote 500 to aid the families of my fallen men right what can you do we're very useful <laughs> I am important for you. When your men see me in battle, they will gain courage. If things go wrong, they will fight longer before fear seizes them. So in other words, he gives us a little bit of extra morale, I would expect. Anyway, there are a number of you that have been extremely helpful, and thank you very much for that, by the way, because I'm thinking that, I, considering I'm a trader, I need trade routes, and some of you were helpful enough as to give me a couple of trade routes, and we're probably going to be using most of those, so... Thank you very much for that. Anyway, let us buy supplies. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have anything at the moment. But yes, we're looking for wool, apparently. But obviously, I think we probably need to go somewhere around here to get wool. I actually wanted to go the, to the farmstead and maybe to the Roman fort. Probably not the Roman fort, because as far as I remember, the Roman fort is a pretty difficult event. And you're pitted up against a very difficult enemy. I'm actually going to just check to see... Oh, they do have wool. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, here's the thing. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to need to get over to Dorstad. I'm probably going to need a boat. But hopefully, I'm going to be able to purchase a ferry. And I'm going to be able to go over there without needing a boat. And hopefully, it's going to give me enough money. Now, there was a little bit of wool there. But it's 128. I don't know whether that's cheap. I don't know whether that's expensive. We're going to try and find that out as time goes on. By now, you have some experience with Viking Conquest. Do we? <laughs> Not really. Yes. If this is your first game, we recommend making yourself familiar with some of the game concepts. You will be directed to a page that presents them now. Oh, okay. Well. This is very interesting. And actually, very important and useful. So, if you are a person that does not know that much about Viking Conquest, and if you just need a refresher, perhaps, like I do, you know, because it's, I'm, you know, so I'm a bit rusty. It's been a while since I have played this mod or DLC, whatever you want to say. But this is going to be pretty important because, look, every nine points will increase the maximum size of your army by one. Fame attracts followers. And now, there's the, there's the important bit. Holdings. Every town will add 80 men, and each castle 40 to the maximum size of your army. There you go. That is really cool. And there's just a wide variety of other things. Also, they've added something about the dog companion. That's pretty cool. I actually made a video about this, and I actually did explain how to get the dog companion. So... It's nice that they've added something about that, actually. While wandering about lost in your own thoughts, you suddenly hear a dog bark at you. Luckily, you have a piece of sausage with you. So, in other words, you need some sausages. It's the beginning of a companionship. The dog will not leave your side, even on the battlefield, and soon earns a name. On the battlefield, your dog is placed in Division 9. The skills and abilities of your dog companion can be improved by giving him good food. Ah, that's interesting. They didn't explain that before, so apparently you can get some additional skills with him. Not entirely sure what, but it's going to be interesting to find out anyway. Ooh, those elite Vikings. That was very, very close. Again, we are probably going to need some spotting skill. I would very much like to find a companion that gives us spotting skill. I think that would be very important. All right, you arrive at a farmstead. Farmsteads are the source of produce and food stuff, so those things are cheaper here. Ah, that's nice. Okay, so we might be able to get ourselves a little bit of wool. I, I, I highly doubt it, actually, but... Yeah, let's just... Wait a minute. Is, is there anyone here I can actually speak with? There might be some people over in this direction. I think maybe? This is very strange how I'm not able to find anyone that quickly. But maybe I can speak to these guys? Go talk to the farmstead Reeve over there if you want to do business here. Ah. I can assume that it's probably over here. 
Yes, I remember these kinds of villages, and this is exactly one of the villages where you can find the dog companion as well. Very similar. It's probably not the same one. There's the farmstead. Reeve, hello there. Welcome to our farm. Please help yourselves with some bread and ale. How may I help you? There was trouble in the area, and your farm is so nice I can protect it for a fee. Yeah, if we want to be mean. I would like to work here. I see some of your men are loitering around. Can I hire some of them? Yeah, I'd like to hire some of them. To tell the truth, my lord, my servants and slaves breed like rabbits and eat too much of the produce. It would please me to sell the excess, and I'll give you a good price. One hundred for the lot? How many? <laughs> yeah. Two. Oh. Did you give me two? I don't know. I don't actually know. What do you have for sale? Ah, there we go. Oh, the wool is actually a lot more expensive in the farmstead, so that's unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, so, yes, yeah, so at least we can leave now. So, who did we get? We just got a cup. I literally spent 100 on two farmers. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, that is unfortunate, but it's okay. It's okay, because farmers, hopefully they'll level up into something decent. Okay, so I have seen a couple of pieces of wool, but obviously we need to find out whether I can shall we say, go to the town in question, Dorstadt, whether we can actually go there and actually, you know, sell our things. Ask if somebody wants to join you. 400 for... Oh, wow, yeah. No, I, I don't think I can actually, you know, do that any further. I'm probably going to have to find out whether we can use that ship. Hello, masterless men. Probably not going to be fighting you anytime soon. I'd like to find some ruffians. I'm actually just going to move around at base speed at the moment because I'm very worried about running into some Danish elite Vikings because they are going to murder our faces off. And I don't really want to have a defeat so early on. I don't really mind getting defeated in general, but considering Viking Conquest is very unforgiving in the early stages, I don't really want to have that happens, so hopefully it's not going to. Winter is the worst time for war. It's cold, it rains too much, and food is scarce. Yes, unfortunately, our party has now just lost five morale, which is bad, because our morale is currently average, which is not very good. So I'm going to go to London, and we're going to try and see whether we can take a boat over to Dorstadt. I I'm pretty sure we can. So let us, yes, travel to another port. So let's see. Dorstadt, yes, okay. Whoa, it's going to cost us 586. I don't know whether that's worth it. I mean, I could see the ships, actually. Let's take a look at the ships and see whether there's anything here. Okay, so this might be an idea. It's not very good, but it might be an idea. This is a little bit better. But again, very expensive. I think any of those would be good, to be honest. I mean, it's going to really be quite expensive. So I guess it's pretty decent that I didn't buy the wool just yet, because I wouldn't have enough money now to be able to get over there even. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more fighting by the looks of things. So hopefully I'll be able to... Ah, there we go. There's some ruffians right there. Fantastic. All right, so let's do it. I am actually pretty happy with having a sling at the moment, which is actually kind of weird because you wouldn't think that I'd be a big fan of the sling mechanics because you know me, you know, if you've seen my other series at any point where I have attempted to use throne weapons, then you will know that I am not exactly a big fan of the throne weapon mechanics and the way that they work, but with the sling it's a little bit different because you have a lot more power behind the rocks that you are throwing. So it's not just your, your arm, it's actually the sling mechanism giving you a really, really big boost in projectile speed. As you can see, I'm actually doing a lot of damage and being able to do it pretty swiftly as well. So I'm actually liking that quite a bit. I'm going to tell everyone to charge in now. Yes, there we go. That's what you get. I've got a knife. That's not good. Yes, the first time we're actually getting into a little bit of melee combat. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we've actually got to, yeah, we've actually got a very good army here. I mean, for the early stages, the young warriors are going to probably destroy basically anyone that we come across. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And we're just going to continue sharing the loot and selling it at nearby towns. Because, of course, 
that is the way we make money in the early game, and we're going to attempt to do just that as time goes on anyway. Because, of course, we have a lot of trade skill, and trade skill is going to be our... Well, <laughs> literally, our bread and butter, yes. Literally our bread and butter. Okay, so we're just going to run around here. Going to try and find some more ruffians. I really, really do need a companion with some spotting skill, don't I? Alright, so we found some. And let me just tell you, it took a little bit of time. So it's now night time. And again, I actually don't mind fighting at night in Viking Conquest. Because it's not actually that dark, which is pretty cool. I mean, it would, would it be that dark? I mean, it really depends if the moon is really, really bright, or if there's clouds, or whatever the case may be, but yeah, I think we're absolutely fine, because we're only against five of them. Maybe I should increase my campaign AI a little bit more, so that we can get larger parties of ruffians, but again, if we were to increase it too much, then maybe the ruffians would then have parties of 20, 25, maybe even 30, and that is certainly not something that we can currently handle. At least, the best thing we can do right now is get as much loot as possible and use our sling. <laughs> I'm actually wondering, is the sling actually a decent enough weapon to take into the late game in this mod? I don't think so. Oh yeah, by the way, I should probably clear up that the reason I call this a mod is because it is heavily based on Britain Water and it is technically a paid mod, even though it is actually DLC. So, take from that what you will- What? No! I've suffered a serious injury! Oh no, that's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get close to this guy and hopefully take him out. He's the fellow that caused our injury! How dare you! Oh, that was awful. Okay, so we're gonna need to go to the nearby town pretty quickly and try and find one of the physicians. I think they are actually called physicians. So hopefully we'll be able to find that. That guy's routing, so that's absolutely fine. As you can see, this is going to become permanent in five days. We will not allow it. We will not allow it. Oh, there we go. Some nice... Uh, no. Oh, I was actually thinking, mm, maybe might be an upgrade for us, but no, it's not. Now, here's the thing. What I'd like to do is I would like to get some looting skill. I do have one, but I'd like to get a little bit more because at the moment we're fighting a lot and it would be pretty decent if we were able to get a little bit more looting, just so that the loot in general would increase in number. Ooh! We got some more thieves. Let's do it. Now, bear in mind that we do have to get to that town pretty fast, so hopefully we'll be able to do that before the wound becomes permanent. Look at how cool the sling animation is. I really like that. I really think that's very cool. I mean, obviously I've spoken about that before, but I do think it's really cool. Because usually in Mountain Blade, you don't really have very many things that actually have, you know, these kinds of animations. So it's really nice to see that they've done a little bit of extra work on that. Anyway, my sling is not doing very well this time. I seem to not be able to hit anything, even though I'm trying my best. Ugh, very strange. Okay, well, I'm going to get out my sling anyway, because these guys are apparently wanting to run, and I will not allow it. Mm, there we go. Yes, take him down. I do need to sell my knife as well, so hopefully you can remind me of that. Just, to, you know, send me some mind waves that will remind me that I can, you know, sell that in the next town. Otherwise, let's just get more ruffians. Ooh, yeah, nice. Good amount of loot and actually a little bit better shoes for us there. And most of these torso pieces of armor are actually going to sell for a pretty decent amount. All right, so let's go down to Dunwich and oh wait a minute what's that oh no some th these guys are actually running away from me I personally feel like I'm not gonna be able to take them on but they're running away from me probably because of the size of my army not because of the quality so that's something to take into account we definitely don't want to over estimate how effective we actually are so let's just continue selling all of this. I'm going to try and invest in a little bit of wool every now and again. So if we do come across something that is... Thank you for reminding me about the knife. Yeah, so if we do come across something in a village where the wool is about 150, maybe 180 in price, then I will buy it. But anything other than that, I'm probably not going to buy it because I think that's... A bit too expensive. So let's have a look here. Ooh, Sphere Warriors. They're really good. Oh, Egil. Egil is here. He's a companion, I think. I seem to remember that he's a companion. 
Speak. I crave a little of your time, sir. Listen to my story. I am important to you. I am a son of King Horik, but not a legitimate one. The king likes pretty women and, well, he met my mother among the handmaids of his wife. So that's how I got here, I guess. I was happy during my childhood in Reba, but soon the king sent me to live with one of his huskals. The man was tough and violent. He insisted on teaching me how to handle the spear, sword, and shield. He didn't let me drink mead or frequent the company of girls. Can you believe someone would inflict such hardship? Now I serve in the royal guard. I'm not particularly happy since I'm in the shadow of hardened men who won the job by their efforts while I was granted my position only by the virtue of being a bastard son of the king. Ah, right, okay. I was trained by Thorgil. Look at me. Look at me well, yes, because unlike many who are with you, I'm a warrior. I could beat anyone here with spear or sword. I'm worth perhaps five men. Okay, well, how much are you? You're, you're free? Oh! <gasps> I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised because if he's worth five men, then I'm very pleased about that because that means I just gained five men for free, which is fantastic. Very, very nice. All right, so the training grounds, obviously that's the arena. I just knocked my microphone once again, so I do apologize if you heard something like that. And also there's a dog barking in the background, so if you hear that, I also apologize for that. Fantastic. Anyway, let's see if there's actually a... Wait a minute. There might be a cheaper price to travel from here to Dorstadt. 406. Aha! Yes, that's what we like. Okay, that's a lot better. So let's try and find a couple of pieces of wool and then maybe see. Oh yes, 140. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. All right, let's go over there. I don't know how many I can actually get. Because what is it now? 406, right? Yeah, 406. Oh, yes, 131. Nice. Okay. Ooh, this is good. This is good. Everything is going pretty smoothly. Obviously, that is, of course, due in part to some of you that have assisted me. So thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it. And otherwise, hopefully we'll be able to find a couple more pieces of wool. So let's go over here. Oh, that's actually a castle. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. I'm wounded. I'm still wounded. Let's run. I forgot about it. Wait a minute. How many days do I have left? Wounds. Ah, oh, phew. Okay, we'll become permanent in four days. That's absolutely fine. Whoa, I actually forgot about it. Can you believe that? Whoa, yeah, I think you probably can. You probably can believe that. Okay, so let's... I guess stroll through the town. I mean, that's the only thing I can really do here. Alright, so this should be easy enough. Oh, hello, Mayor. I wish to buy a farmstead near this town and hire a foreman. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, this is cool. Okay, a foundry. Wow, that's very expensive. Okay, what about a brewery? That's also extremely expensive. Is there anything here that I can actually get that's pretty cheap? The mill and bakery is actually pretty decent. The weave Oh, wow, the weavery is also pretty harsh. Yeah, everything is extremely expensive. I could do a job for these guys, but obviously I'm not going to do that right now because I do need to find... Oh, this is actually a very large town, isn't it? Yeah, I thought to myself, oh, this is a very small settlement, but then I turned around and it's just like, oh, yeah, crazy. Crazy big. Okay, so let's go and find the physician, shall we? And make sure that we are not going to suffer minus one strength for very much longer. As far as I'm aware, he's usually at the port. Yes, there he is. He should be able to heal us for a small fee. Please don't be too much. 150. Ah, oh, that's one piece of wool. Ah, oh, that's harsh. Okay, well, eh, I guess that's okay. I mean, we have 694. I should be able to get one more piece of wool, and then we can go over to Dorstadt and get... Our selling groove on, I suppose. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Nope. They have some iron. Right. Okay, so let's go over here. There we go. Okay, and nothing else? Maybe I should just go with what we have, because my weekly wages are going to tick by pretty soon. And I don't really want to be stuck over here. Well, I guess I could just fight a couple more ruffians. That would make sense. I'm going into all of the castles. Oh, that's awful. 
Okay, there you go. Nope, seems like I'm not going to be able to. So it's either I spend that huge amount of money and then just hope that the wool is really, really lucrative. Or I stay here and do a little bit more. Hmm. Yes. Okay, I guess I'm going to go over here next to London. Maybe oh, that's going to be very expensive, isn't it? <laughs> if you know anything about London, everything's expensive. Very expensive. So, yes, hopefully it's not going to be the same in the game. All right, anything else? Nope, seems like we are out of luck. Wow, this is interesting. I am kind of surprised that we're not able to find any other pieces of wool, but I suppose that's that's just how it is. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to go over here. Uh, we've got some more thieves. We might as well attack them. Yes. Okay, so now do bear in mind that... Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a slave trader. That is the main problem we're having right now, because, of course, I do have eight capacity right now, because of our current, you know, current army capacity, and how many people we actually have in our army right now. So, I only have two more spaces. So, if we're able to take more than two, then I'm wasting money, and that is never a good thing. So hopefully I'm going to be able to, you know, find a slave trader pretty soon. Okay, now please don't injure me any further. I would appreciate that. Okay, let's just tell our people just to charge in. I'm taking damage. It's really awful. Absolutely awful to take damage. He's going to have a massive headache now, isn't he? He's not going to be very pleased. Okay, let's just... Oh, no. Okay, no, don't get shot. Don't get shot. There we are. Yes. Yes, deal some damage. Oh, the priest actually got a kill. Good job, priest. <laughs> Did he use, did he use smite? <laughs> did he use smite on him? Did he use shadow word pain? Oh, there's, there's a reference for you. Anyway, there you go. That was okay. And we're only going to miss out on one ruffian. So I don't really mind too much about that. And also the loot is just really good. I mean, obviously it's not going to give us that much. But Viking Conquest, you know, again, is very unforgiving and quite difficult at the start. So let's go into London. Maybe there'll be a slave trader in the mead hall here is there ah there, there there are i think two companions is this a is this a physician no 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 aha this is a companion ah you i excuse me sir i am a man of god a priest of christ you are borgar bearchild sorry i am an idiot <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I am Bader. I joined the Holy Church when I was but a boy and eventually became a priest. I believe that even the toughest warrior has a place for Christ in his heart. And that I can better, better, yes, it, I'm an idiot, so I do apologize for my, yes, misspeaking. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Fulfill the mission God gave to me in a shield war than in a sacristy. I am of Angkor origin from Mears, but I live most of my life in Witten Sista, the center of West Siax. I served for many years, or some years, in the court of King Aethelbert. Honestly, he retained no great men of letters unlike his brother Alfred. I ended up in Domok in East Engel, near where I was born, but then the Danish came, and the kingdom ceased to be safe for men of faith. I am an honest and helpful man who always gets along with everyone. What do you think? What precisely can you do? Yes. Okay. He's joining for free as well? I am extremely surprised about this. Okay, what about this guy? Oh, he's going to be pagan, isn't he? I think he's going to be pagan, so that's probably going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? I've always been a warrior. Yes. Somewhere out there, an enemy lurks in shadow, trying to imprison my free destiny. Namely, an angry, foul, unhappy husband. Not to mention the father as well. I think there is also a mother and an uncle. I don't suppose you might consider helping me leave town. I might be able to use an extra sword. Okay. Uh, he's joining for 300. I'm not going to afford that. I'm sorry. There might be a bit of a problem with his compatibility with our people as well. So I want to make sure that we're okay. Unfortunately, I can't find a ransom broker or a slave trader. So I'm going to have to maybe go down to Canterbury. I, I assume that's what that is down there. Maybe. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.